Okay, so I'm a bit nervous to do this video um, because I'm a very awkward person, especially with things like this. Um, but yeah, I've been asked a lot about um, being vegan, why I became vegan, all that sort of stuff. So I thought I'd do a video to just kind of condense it all and give people information if that's what they want, whatever. So yeah, basically, I've written some notes. And I'm going to try not to read straight off of them, but we'll see. <laughs> so why I went vegan, I didn't have a lot of dairy anyway. Um, I always had soya milk and soya butter and stuff like that. Um, and then I decided that I didn't want to eat meat anymore. So I did some research and I looked at um, the PETA 30 Day Vegan Challenge. And I thought, yeah, I can give that a go. Um, and I thought that at the end of the 30 days, I would just be vegetarian. Because I thought vegan was a bit extreme. I know that's a common, the common thing that people, um, people think. Because I suppose outwardly, it doesn't seem like um, milk and eggs and cheese, whatever, has a direct... Um, a direct pain to the animals like it doesn't it's a natural thing for them to produce so it doesn't um, like why should you stop eating it kind of thing um, but then I watched a lot of documentaries and stuff um, on Netflix I watched Vegucated which was really good um, I watched um, Forks Over Knives and Fed Up which were both really good as well um, and after watching these documentaries, I kind of felt like I couldn't, I couldn't go back again. I felt like I would be a bit of a hypocrite if I, if I stopped the being vegan. Really, it was like the kind of it seemed the logical thing to do after learning different things. I recently watched um, Earthlings as well, which was intense to say the least. Um, and that kind of reiterated to me why I am vegan. Um, so that's a really good thing to watch if you wanted to learn more about stuff like that. Um, and also Cowspiracy is supposed to be a good one, but I haven't um I haven't I haven't seen that yet. <laughs> I couldn't think of the word. Yeah, and then I also read some um environmental things about why being vegan is good for the environment. Um it takes 3,000 gallons of water to make a pound of meat. It takes 50 gallons to produce a pound of apples. And it takes 25 gallons to produce a pound of wheat. So that's quite a big difference, considering that water is very precious as well. Um, and the average daily water footprint from diet alone, no other, in, like, no other influences, is... Um, Vegan is 300 gallons, vegetarian is 1,200, and meat is 4,000. 4, so that's, again, that's a big a big jump from 300 to 4,000. So yeah, once I kind of found out about all these things, it was just kind of, Ill, like, not logical to go back to eating eggs or whatever. Um, so the main reason I went vegan was because I didn't like the way that animals were treated as commodities as such um, in the industry. Um, but once learning the environmental factors, that became second to it. And then also the health benefits as well. Um, that kind of came as an extra treat or whatever. Um, yeah, so lots of people have like a preconception that I have nothing to eat. Um, there's been many jokes about how I'm the healthiest vegan anyone's ever seen and what do I eat, boiled water and stuff like that. And I mean, as you can tell, I don't not eat. Um, yeah, so there's loads, of, there's loads of stuff that I can eat. I mean, a lot of vegans, when they become vegan, they, they do lose weight. But if anything, I think I'd put weight on you know whatever 
um yeah so you do spend a lot of time reading labels and stuff like that but you kind of you get used to it and I guess you learn the things that you can eat or that you choose to eat or choose not to eat so you kind of know the products that you can just pick up off the shelf without having to read the label and whatever so that's like I don't find it too much of a hardship to have to read a label when I go shopping to I don't know to feel good about what I'm doing and whatever it gets kind of a bit tricky when you get into like um animals in like cosmetics and stuff like that um you have to make sure that you buy cruelty free vegan um products but there's there's a lot out there and I think it's becoming a lot more acceptable um and a lot more known about so people are more aware of it and there's a lot of places that you can find stuff out about um products are vegan and what to look out for in certain ingredients and stuff like that it's like a bit tricky with parent companies and stuff because people choose some people choose to not buy products because their parent company supports animal testing or you know things like that but I guess that's all personal choice I mean it's kind of supply and demand if pe more people are choosing vegan products then they're selling less of the non-vegan products which I guess that's a good thing that means they can look into making more of their products vegan and stuff like that um yeah so I guess it can be a bit of an ethical minefield but it just it's about being as ethical as you can really like um palm oil that's another note here um palm oil is really bad for the rainforest and stuff like that I've been told that cashew nuts are as well but I haven't really done a lot of research into that um it's not palm oil in general it's unsustainable palm oil which is destroying the rainforest and all the animals that live there um so yeah it's best to avoid products that have palm oil in um unless it's labeled as sustainable which is great like there's no reason to avoid that because it's not palm oil that's bad it's the production of it um yeah like doritos there's there's a campaign about the amount of palm oil that they use um trying to get them to use a different different kind of oil or more sustainable and stuff like that so yeah that's an important thing to look out for um also slip ups everyone has slip ups when they start their vegan i don't want to say journey cuz that's horrible but you know what i mean um it's not going to be particularly easy to start with you don't know what to look out for you don't know what you know you don't know what is in everything to be able to just do it really strictly straight away kind of thing unless you're going for the very natural option and not having anything like crisps or anything like that you know you're not just eating fruit and veg and nuts and grains and whatever but it's important to not beat yourself up about it and also to not listen to people if they were to say to you that you're a bad vegan you know stuff like that isn't it's not very like it doesn't it doesn't help you at all it does it just kind of makes you feel like you're going a step backwards kind of thing so you know accidental or non-accidental it doesn't matter as long as you obviously don't go back on what you've chosen to do so it shouldn't be it shouldn't be like one mistake makes it makes everything stop you know oh, I'm not going to do it anymore because because I've eaten this piece of cheese or something like that you know it's not it's, it doesn't it doesn't make any sense um yes yeah, so it's kind of important to not to listen to negativity and it's important to not listen to the but bacon comments because if you had to respond to everything like that you would just go a bit insane so yeah I mean it's just about living as ethically as cruelty free and as green as you can really like it's important it's important to um 
it's important to look after the environment because you know it's not it's not just for us it's for future generations and stuff like that which I think is really important because you know we've had the opportunity to live in a world that's good so why would we not want people's children to have that as well so yeah I guess I don't have a lot else to say or that I can think of anyway but um yeah, I hope this has not been too awkward to watch and yeah, it's kind of giving you a bit of an insight into being vegan, why I went vegan, stuff like that. So yeah, thank you for watching if you got all this away. <laughs>